A press conference to announce heroin busts in Scott County. At the same time, they're handing out free syringes to heroin users at a building next door to the police department who sometimes shoot up right across the street. Cops drive and walk by watching guys like this with a bag full of needles so disoriented he can't figure out the building is closed. It's called a needle exchange because intravenous drug users are supposed to exchange used needles for clean ones to reduce the spread of disease. But it looks more like a needle supply. I went undercover for five weeks watching exchanges in Scott County and in Jefferson County where heroin users are often lined up waiting for it to open. They bring in their children, their bikes, their dogs, but most of the time they don't bring any needles to exchange. And I even noticed over time repeat customers still not bringing needles with them. Your thoughts on that? Um, to me, it's more important to get them the clean needles to prevent sharing. Often, customers walk out and dole out bags of syringes to people waiting nearby, like this guy. Or this man, one of the frequent customers here who never brings needles to exchange. He takes off on a 20-minute drive to where a man is waiting on a scooter who pulls something out of his mouth and makes a hand-to-hand -hand transaction. When I catch up with the van driver heading out with his passengers, he doesn't want to talk about it. I know, and I got you. Why do you keep going to needle exchange? Yeah. How long do they wait before they're using their taxpayer-funded syringes? 22 seconds after this woman leaves with bags full of needles, a syringe is passed and one of the people in the waiting car uses the needle at the front entrance to the U of L School of Public Health. These two people walk to a spot across from the main entrance to the public library where he's the lookout while she shoots up and leaves the needle behind. This woman goes straight to a nearby business, shoots up, leaves the stuff on the floor by a wastebasket, and then has to sit down outside because she's having a hard time. This man walks a block away, sits down along busy Broadway, unpacks his syringe, gloves, and gauze, takes off his sock, and takes his time sticking the needle between his toes with kids walking by and people staring. I haven't seen that here, but I guess you just gave an example for Broadway. Uh, it's, I mean, they're going to be um, using, and I'm happy they're using a clean needle, in my thought. So what are they using? Health department stats show it's mostly heroin, but also meth and cocaine. We've been told needle exchanges offer counseling and treatment to try to stop the cycle of addiction. So we send a producer in undercover with a hidden camera. You have the right to be respected. A worker reads him this form of his rights. How many think you need? It'll ask you a week. Asks how often he uses drugs. Okay, how many times a day are you using? I'd rather not talk about that. Well, you have to open how many needles to get you. Okay. Seconds later, he's on his way, needles in hand. And all the worker did was just read this form, basically. Didn't, didn't offer any counseling, uh, didn't ask any questions to try to get the person into treatment or, or anything like that. You got to meet the person where they're at, and so if they're not ready for treatment, there's not really. You don't need to talk about it. What the worker does do is explain if you tell a police officer you have needles from this exchange, you won't be charged with possessing drug paraphernalia or any substance on the needle. And the police officers are on board if they pull you over. But it comes off sounding like helping a person <clears throat> using drugs to not get busted by police. As long as they're not sharing needles and preventing disease, I mean, I, I think that's probably a good thing. That's tragic. Uh, you know, is theory, practical application, uh, two different things. Theory is a good theory. The practical application by these people is really abhorrent. When we share all of this with the state Senate president, Robert Stivers, he says changes are necessary now. They are not taking needles out of the system. They are just supplying more department. This was not the intent of the legislation. They are doing nothing but promoting uh, greater use of heroin. The Metro Health Department says it's had more than a thousand people come in to get free needles in the first four months. They say 64 of those drug users have been referred to seven county services case managers for treatment options. As for Senator Stiver's comment that they're promoting greater use of heroin, Dr. Moyer says, quote, study after study shows syringe exchange programs do not increase drug use. John Bowl, Wave 3 News.